Yes, uh, there was a lot of mistakes. Could you please list them? Right. Yes, do you have uh, quite some time? Because I can list quite a few mistakes. We started very badly in many aspects. We did not defend well. There were many openings for the opponent and we were not aggressive, there's a lack of pressure and of course we lost the ball as well, particularly at the start, so we were really very bad. Hello, Mr. Uh, I see a lot of Holland fans, they were wearing the memorative shirts of European 88 when you scored decisive goals and you were among the best defenders in the world. Now, it seems that Holland have very good defenders, but you got serious problems in the positioning of the defenders. What's wrong with it and how do you improve in the knockout phase? Thank you. No, yes, normally we have good defenders. We don't get a lot, lot of goals against us. Not today, but it's all about the responsibility to, to follow your man. If you watch the second and the third goal, it's too easy, spaces, not following your opponent, and that makes it uh, then really difficult. And they had the qualities to punish, to punish that, that two moments to score the second one and the third one. Ronald. As you, um, um, Ronald. After 30 minutes, um, and also particularly at the start of the match, what have you uh, agreed? Because Sabat uh, performed well, Van Dijk is not performing well, Gerard Ruyder should be better at the midfield, and there are openings. So in the centre, there should be a one to one duels. At a certain point of time, we should have done that, and that's what we showed in the second half of the match. We are able to perform in a one-to-one -one position. However, and we've always discussed this, uh, communication is important during matches as well. The players not uh, clicking because we've got wing players and they're also accountable for the back positions. But uh, there, Austrians offensive back players are very strong and the center back has also taken this into consideration. And then suddenly it was one to nil because Lutz was able to play inside. And uh, we did not take into account the left back. So there's a lack of communication because the, what do we not want to have? Uh, yes, we do not want the wing players always uh, play in the back part. So we did trainings, we spoke about it. So, and this is what happened. So our offensive players had to play near the back line. And we were only focused on gardening a person, a specific player, and that's not good. And more than we had not a lot of ball position. So it was very difficult. There was no rest in the game. No uh, confidence was built up. So we're running without a head. That was our defensive situation. Uh, the players ran a lot, but it not defend the positions. So it was awful, very bad. So we did not control the match. Later on, we performed slightly better. Daniel Malen had a serious opportunity, and there was a header uh, by Memphis. So we had a, a few opportunities, but they um, punished us at certain points of time. Yeah, hello. Um, Oliver Jensen von Ran. Um Xavi had not played from the beginning. What was the reason for that? And play yeah, his replacement, Fehrmann, what was with him? And Fehrmann, what, what happened to him? First of all, we went to play with three real midfielders, of course, who were aware of our weaknesses. And of course, they didn't play as we thought uh, prior to the match because they 
thought that maybe Werber did not want to play near Rangers. So, with regard to our strategy, we had three midfielders against two midfielders from them. But we did not have a good position. Geert Dryden uh, played on the same line as the midfielders. He should have uh, been higher up on the pitch or lower up on the pitch because then he would have performed better and that we could have played better in different positions. Ronald. So it's about the end of the international match career uh, of Joel Verman. It's like last year, Italy and Netherlands. So it's good. What about your position? Will you be also the uh, coach at the next tournament if you lose next match in the next stage? Now, it's not a question that should be addressed now, because I don't like to speak about uh, these kind of questions. What happens if, if, etc. It's not good. Uh, once these things happen, I will uh, try to come up with a serious response. I'm to be held accountable for this and for the performance during this match. However, when now we follow through to the next stage, we still have another chance, more opportunities, but we have to play much better in many aspects. But it's possible with this uh, squad. They have the qualities. And if we fail, please ask me this question again. Ronald, so you've had now three matches in a group. So do you know how to uh, get organized for the next match? Now, we had a victory against Poland and we thought that uh, the situation would be better because we're confident and that we were able to face the match against France. This match against France was reasonably well, taking into account the final outcome. We played rather well as a team. However, today it was appalling because people played poorly in a series of aspects. If you start like this and you always have to fight back and then they beat you again, they lead us again and uh, we conceded two uh, goals and when we uh, studied what happened, the conclusion would be that we are responsible for the opponent. We have to follow the opponent the other player, and that's what not happened. Because uh, when we speak about these goals, it's four to four, five to five. They were not having more players on a specific uh, spot uh, on a pitch, and that's an issue for the Netherlands. We have to take up our responsibility on the pitch to follow the opponents, but it's always difficult for us. And then, uh, our plays play too easy, so we're not entitled to get a better result. Ronald, in the past, when you played at clubs, you changed uh, things when you were a coach at these clubs, and sometimes afterwards you perform better. So, what are you now? Well, are you still razor sharp now? Yes, of course. I'm focused on this team, on our strategy, of course. Um, we have not been knocked out. We still follow through to the next stage. So, and this goes for me, for all the players. We have to come up with a safe response. And we have to prepare the team for the next match. Because that's what is at stake. Because that's the final could be the final knockout for us. Of course, we don't want to have it, but we really have to play back to that we have performed today. Hi, Ronald. Um, because of that result, you could potentially play England in the last 16. Just what are your thoughts on that and whether you're confident that your team can lift themselves to play someone like England? Now, we knew before the match that eh, if he will be the third in the group, then we will get a big nation for the next round. If it's England, if it's Spain, we need to wait and uh, we will see what happens. Thank you very much.